James Del Rey. That was a little piece of a song from Memphis Mini. And I'm choosing to start this video with Memphis Mini just because that's where I first started really getting into the style that I play is through listening to Memphis Mini. But starting out with this tune, you'll notice that when I play, I'm using three fingers on my right hand. So, and I almost always have them assigned top, second, third. And I've got my thumb on the bottom strings. And mostly, the only advice, if you play different than that, my only advice is don't let your thumb go up and play melody notes. Your thumb is the helpful digit. And, uh, so I'll play a little bit of it, and now you'll see what I mean. So. <laughs> There's not too much boogie woogie in that. It's all the bass is going to be solid on A for the A chord, fifth string, and bottom you're just going to move down. And it's a, it's a drone bass for this whole thing, and it's on the quarter notes. So starting with introduction, that's just an E7 chord moving up, and then you've got D7. And when you move up to the dead D, here's where I discovered how to walk the bass. We're going to. This was a big revelation for me. I hope it will be for you too. So what's happening here is here's your D7 chord. It's your plain old regular D7 chord that you've always used. What happens is you're going to use this finger, your third finger is going to come off the top string and it's going to go... And a little snap. Notice with those snaps, I snap a lot. How I snap is I get underneath. So if that's what's going on when I flip my hand like that, it's a flipping out to get get the bass underneath. So that's how I do that. I'm going to play now a tune called Boogie Mysterioso. This is probably the hardest piece that I'll play, just physically hard to play. I'm going to play it anyway because I know some of you will get, if not the whole piece, many of you will get the whole piece, but if you don't, there's bits of it that you'll find really useful when you're making up your own arrangements and you want to add a little bit more walking around kind of thing. So this song comes from one of my favorite piano players, Mary Lou Williams, and she's up to speed. out of an E minor chord. And I'm, again, I'm figuring it with uh, two and three. And the cornstarch in this mix is your first finger is adding the essential thickening. You're doing an alternating first finger. And this is one of those exceptions I warned you about where your, your first finger is going to come down and play. slower. I know you would. That's your top. We're going to go straw broom boogie. It's going to use out of the A position. You'll see some ideas that we used, but in a slightly different rhythm, slightly different context. So here we go. Well, I get up in the morning at half past four. I grab my broom. I start sweeping the floor. I do the straw broom boogie. I do the straw broom boogie. And I shuffle, I prance, and I scuffle, I dance to the straw room buggy. Well, I sweep it in the morning. Rocks the bass. So open, three, four, fourth string, three, four, open. Okay? Rocking first finger on your right hand. Your so all that time with your thumb and first finger. I get up in the morning at half past four. I grab my broom, I start sweeping the floor, I do the
open G, here's our main chord position. So you've got your little finger up at the top on the fifth fret, second finger is at the third fret, second string, third finger is at the fourth fret. That's what we're using for our G. And we're So you're, you're doing a backstroke. If you're not a... You might try something like that. But anyway, here's the turnaround. Starts the same chord we were using before. Only notice now, we were fingering it like this before. This time we're going to finger it like this, because we're going to... Okay, so your little finger's got to stay up there on the fifth fret.